Time now, ladies and gentlemen, for a battle of the light heavyweights scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Arthur Gorlov here to take on Francis Zinedine Hammerlay. He pushed Luis Tavares to a split decision in his debut in Glory 62 Rotterdam. Here comes Arthur Gorlov. You heard me in that interview show say that Zinedine Hammerlane is always so happy and carefree before fights. This guy, on the other hand, I saw him walking around the hotel. He looked like he was about to rob the place. Yeah, he doesn't change his facial expressions. He's here for business. I mean, he wasn't really happy with a split decision loss in his debut. So he's got to really go out there and, and really put it to Zinedine Hammerlane. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. This bout comes to an end. 12 seconds into the very first round by knockout. For your winner, Zinedine Hammerlay. Hammerlay dropping the sledgehammer. Major damage being done here. Eight of his ten glory appearances have ended in some form of knockout. Here comes Zinedine Hammerlay! They call him the good boy. In his last fight, he had to basically retire on his stool because of a back injury, a pinched nerve against Felipe Michelechi. But Joe... We saw him this week, he said, I'm 2,000%, I'm back healthy. And then later he said, I might consider surgery after this yeah. fight. Which one is it? Yeah, we're going to see now and, and how he's recovered from it. But Hammer Lane is really known for being long, rangy, mixing his strikes really well. So I think it's going to see if, if he uses his kicks a lot. I mean, that's a big determining factor if, if your back is sore. So, I mean, we didn't really see him do too well against Michelechi. So he really wants to put on a good performance as his mother's watching him for the first time in glory. Here's our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight showdown. Number five versus number nine. Hammerlane's 32 years old, six years older than Archer Gurloff, and it'll be Hammerlane with a two-inch reach advantage. When it comes to professional experience, big edge for the Frenchman Zinedine. He's also got a KO percentage that Gurloff needs to be careful with, especially with that right hand. My keys to glory for this belt for Zinedine Hammer Lane. He needs to use his distance. He needs to keep busy with his strikes. And he needs to set up and find that power that he has in his right hand. Where Arthur Gorlob needs to shut in on that reach. Really put the pressure. Get Zinedine on his back foot. And I want to see him mix strikes and mix his levels. We're scheduled for three rounds in Glory's light heavyweight division. Let's meet the fighters. Fighting out of the black corner, he's a WKN World Heavyweight Champion. He brings with him a record of 23 wins with seven losses. Ten of those wins coming by knockout. At six feet four and one half inches, 1.94 meters, he weighed in at fight time at 208.1 pounds, 94.4 kilograms. Fighting out of Latvia by way of Barcelona, Spain, here is Arthur Gorlau. His opponent crossed the ring and fighting out of the white corner, a two-time European champion. Also a glory contender tournament champion. As a professional, 60 wins with 16 losses, 38 career knockouts. At 6 feet 3 and 1 half inches, 1.92 meters, he weighed in at 205.9 pounds, 93.4 kilograms. He's here tonight. Fighting out of Nancy, France. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Zinedine, the good boy, Hammerlane. And the referee in charge.
charge of this about Tobias Gerald. Gentlemen, you know the rules you're fighting to, so respect my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Touch glove if you like, and back to the corners. Archer Judge. Gurloff told us, Judge. listen, despite his highlight reel Judge. knockouts, I'm not worried about his punching power, Judge. I'm more worried about his high kicks. Judge. Timekeeper. Ready. Ready. Fight! Three rounds in the light heavyweight division. Zinedine Hammerlane in the white gloves, Gorloff in the black. Zinedine does really well at distance, especially with his straight punches and his kicks. This is where Gorloff's going to be patient, and then when he comes in, he's going to explode with some power. Hammerlane's really enjoyed this week here back in his native town. His family still lives here. He went and had dinner with him every single night. Ooh, nice double left hook. Some body work as well from Gorloff. Yeah, a lot of good power from Gorloff. There's his mixing of strikes that I like to see. Can't put those hands down because Zinedine will get you on the counter. Yep, that right hand counter from Hammer Lane. Put a lot of fighters out. One of the nastiest in all of glory. Yeah, six wins, five by way of knockout. Most of them coming from that right hand. His knockout of Freddy Camayo is one that jumps to mind. I believe he did that in Paris, France. Yeah, he also has a win against Michael Dew, but he needs to stay off of those ropes. Gorlaf's really dangerous with his punches and attacking the body. You can see the right leg of Hammerlane still a little bit stiff. Gorloff making his second appearance in glory, his first fight, a split decision loss to Luis Tavares. Joe, we thought maybe he won that fight. Yeah, absolutely. It was that close. It looked like, you know, he came in and he has something to prove. Spinning back fist. Oh, that wobbles in a deep. He's holding on right now. That's a smart move. He's got to regroup. You can hear a buzz in the crowd now. They know some damage was done. There's a high kick from Gorloff. And Gorloff's got to continue to, to mix his levels. I'm really liking his left hook to the body. Double low kick. Gorloff mixing his offense well. Yep. Mixing his strikes and levels well. This crowd waiting for something to cheer for here from the good boy. Back too. over the top rope. Listen, and he's got that pinched man. nerve in his lower back, and that may have set it off again. Yeah. Zinedine yeah. just spit his mouth guard out, too. You have Gorloff's corner, Arthur Koshenko, Arthur, yelling for him to get up. Yeah. The doctor will come take a look at Zinedine and show it. He told us he was 100%, but we're seeing now he is not. No, definitely not. Yeah, I can't see Hammerlane getting up after his face looking like that. He's in a lot of pain. Crowd try to cheer Zinedine on, and leading the leading the clapping is the quarter of Gorloff. See it again. Yeah, he kind of continued to press his head, and you can see his back just bend over the ropes like that. Man, with a herniated disc in your spine, that can't be good. Well, he was considering surgery. Now it feels like he's going to have to have it. Yeah. Ringside doctor taking a look. And you know Zinedine's not laying down just to lay down. This is his hometown. He was so excited to fight here. Yeah, he has his mom watching his, uh, her first glory fight. 
He pushes a little bit, and he pushes more and more. Here it is one more time. When you got a herniated disc, pinched nerve, that can set it off. Ah. And the right leg very stiff again. Yeah, he definitely can't continue. Is he going to try is the question. Well, I believe there's like 10 seconds left in this round. But you even see him in the corner. He's closing his eyes. And that is it. The question now, what will the official decision be? Is it a no contest? Is it a DQ? Or is it a win for Gorloff? We'll find out when we return here to the Glory Superfight Series from France. Welcome you back. Some controversy here in France. Archer Gorloff was doing pretty well in the first round, but he pushed Zinedine Hammerling back over the ropes. Hammerling fell down, grabbed his already injured back. The fight was stopped. Let's see what the decision is. Ladies and gentlemen, our judges have conferred and have decided that it was an intentional foul on the part of the black corner. So by way of a disqualification, the winner of this bout, fighting out of the white corner, Zinedine Hammerlin. Well, you can see in the face of Hammerlin, that's not the way he wanted to win it. You got a feel for Archer Gurloff. Sure, maybe it wasn't the best sportsmanship type of move, but to lose by DQ? Yeah, no, I don't know if I, I necessarily agree with that. I would have preferred maybe a no contest over that because Gorlock was doing well, was winning the fight. It wasn't really intentional when Zinedine really had that injury, so very hard call from, from the judges and referees. And here it is one more time. Joe, we see this all the time. Rarely does a fighter go down in agony like that. Yeah, but remember with the... With the Having the injury before, it's kind of like you take that risk. So I think a, a no contest would have been a little bit more fair. Because neither guy is happy at this point. 